it's number one, just, it's so like grounding, right? Like you're yeah. you, that floating sensation, dude, is just good for you. I don't care what anybody says, like you're belly up. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, and then like that forced presence of mind, like definitely, definitely, definitely has some sort of therapeutic benefit because like you said, like to your point, you're just, you know, you're all, you're, you're normally all over the place mentally, right? You're like going like, Oh, should I have said that? Or like, Oh gosh, I have this coming up, whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you're, you know, taking off on a big bomb out at HB, bro, it's freaking, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Everyone's staring you gotta at be me. locked in in the moment, man. Oh, you gotta be everyone, one with the water. Everyone's staring at us because we're the only two dudes with long boards on a massive 10 foot hollow day. You're like, I'll make it, man. Look it out. What it yeah. Is. No, I don't know. <laughs> the, uh, I, I do, I do hear what you're saying, man. It's, it is such a beautiful experience. And the thing is, is that like, you know, as the crowds get worse and as everyone is starting to learn, um, I think it is incumbent on people that have been doing it for a while to like remind folks respectfully where they should be surfing Yeah, because it's dangerous, dude. I have seen more head injuries, like yeah. bad ones in the water since COVID like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's odd, like, the, you know, anybody who, who is anybody knows that surfing literally blew up exponentially in COVID. They literally didn't have room to make more surfboards because it takes so long to dry them with all the resin. That's never, ever happened. <laughs> right. So, you know, like, like, yeah, <laughs> Let that like, sink yeah, in, yeah. like, like there's more people in the water, which is yeah. cool. Yeah. But like, Hey, if you're learning, like go to Doheny, yeah. go to dog patch at Sano yeah. and then go with somebody that knows, mm -hmm. you know, or if you don't know anybody that knows, then like go take a surf lesson. If you can't afford one, there's free ones. Yeah. Um, you know, like, like dude, just like, do yourself the favor because you're putting yourself and others in danger by not knowing the etiquette a little bit. Yeah. And like when you and I were growing up, we learned it because we got hammered by the old dudes. Oh yeah. And now no, nobody's doing much hammering anymore, which is probably for the better, but, um, dude, but you, I mean, I don't know. I got it handed to me several times and like scared. Yeah. And like, then I learned. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, I, I don't I, know. I remember being like 11 years old. I'll kick your ass. You know, yeah. Like, oh, shit, yeah. Like dude. a grown man in his 40s, yeah. like probably came off just like he probably just <laughs> smoked like three marble reds and is like halfway through a bottle of like, I don't know, Evan Williams or oh. something, you know, like in his gnarly Winnebago. He's out there just breathing on you. You're like, oh, God. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I oh. better not cut that guy off again. <laughs> He's gonna yeah. Kill I, me. I remember my dad saying that because my dad would, he would, dude, you know, my dad taught me how to surf. Yeah. Uh, you know, he never forced me. We used to always go to the beach. And I was like, hey, Dad, I want to learn how to surf one day. Okay. He just gave me a surfboard through the leash on. He's like, meet me out there. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dude, Sweet. boards went too far up ahead of me or I'm done. You know, it, it was a mess, but it was such a cool moment it, that is going to stick with me for a lifetime. And I, remember, I was eight years old. I was getting hammered on the inside. And I finally figured out kind of the balance. And it was a foggy morning. Right. You could, you could hear the waves breaking. And you couldn't see him until it was probably maybe six, eight feet in front of you. And you're like, oh, it's coming, right? Yeah. And I remember I finally was getting out to the lineup and um, I heard the wave break and it was, uh, the guy was, it was a left, you know, he was coming towards me on his left, you know? Um, and I remember looking up and I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. Look at that guy surfing. It was my dad. What? Bro, it was Sick. such a special moment. Sick. Yeah. And I remember seeing him come out of the fog, dude. And he had his stance. Like he's yeah, got that 60 stance kind of like that. Dude, and he, you know. yeah, he's like, he's funny because he whistles. You know, he'll blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like fucking whistling and stuff. And I remember looking up, I'm like, my dad is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, I want to do that. That look on his face, you're like, dude, I need that, you know? Dude, and that ended up being probably, I, you know, I just talked to my dad today about that. And he was saying, you know, when you were a kid, he's like, I, those are real special times for me uh, at the beach growing up with you. We had yeah. so many years of going out early in the morning and surfing. It was just you and me. Yeah. You know, and, and like I get emotional thinking about it now because I, I was on the phone. And I remember telling him, I was like, you know, dad, and say it as much as I probably should. But I was like, I love you, man. Yeah. Like those are those are some of the best years of my life. Oh, and yeah. Things I want to do with my kids one day when I have them. You know, it's just special. It's just amazing, dude. The ocean, gosh, go surf. Go learn to yeah. surf. Be respectful. Learn to etiquette. But man, the ocean and what it does for you. And it's it's beautiful, man. It is. It's such a beautiful thing. And speaking of which, you and I work on a surf film. Mm -hmm. It's coming along, dude. Yes, You know it what is. I like about it, too? Is we're not rushing it. No. You just got to let it flow, baby. Yeah. Let it flow. Sam, where's Sam? 
What's his <laughs> for his last name already? Sam Freeman. Freeman, yeah. yeah. I almost said Ferguson. <laughs> Sam Freeman. Miss you, buddy. <laughs> Miss you too, Sammy boy. <laughs> That's been fun because the days that we've been going out and where we've been filming have been so much fun. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's been such a rad time. Yeah. It's been amazing, dude. And it's cool when we go out too because you can tell, like we get out, we surf, like we know the etiquette, we wait our turn, do our thing. But I've come to that point in my life with surf, I've been doing it so long. Like I could care less if I get the main break, dude, whatever. I just want to get a ride. That's it. Have fun. I'll, I'll go off to the side and get the small How'd you learn fun. that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just happened. I'm like, uh, I have more fun surfing off the side kind of by myself, but... I need to retire to, yeah. <laughs> to, the, to that. Well, dude, just going out and I love cheering other people on. Like, yeah. You get a wave, I love whistling, hooting for you. It-